Hello. Uh, my name is Megan Mokri, and I am the co-founder and CEO of Byte. We are in the middle of a massive shift in how people eat. On-demand meal delivery, meal kits, grocery delivery. These are industries that largely did not exist five, 10 years ago, and they now represent over $100 billion in market size. But they have some fatal flaws. High operational complexity, high delivery costs, consumer churn, and this complexity has, has led to a number of companies not make it in these spaces. Byte solves this. We embed unattended storefronts in commercial spaces, not only providing consumers with effortless access to fresh food, but with enterprises, uh, offering enterprises a low cost and completely turnkey fresh food as a service. We have operational predictability, low delivery costs, net negative churn, and what we like to call as line of sight marketing, since our storefronts are literally feet away from where people are spending large amounts of time. So here's how it works. This is our unattended storefront, our smart fridge. With the swipe of a credit card, the fridge unlocks, transporting you to a normal retail experience. Open shelving means you can actually pick up a salad, look at the ingredients, look at the quality, Put it back, grab your blue bottle iced coffee and a yogurt parfait, close the door, and that's it. Our proprietary technology automatically knows what was removed from that fridge and automatically charges the customer. And Byte is powered by technology at every layer. Our smart fridges give us real-time data on everything from transactions to inventory to spoilage, down to the level of detail of how long every item in every one of our fridges has sat on the shelf. And it's that data that feeds into our platform, allowing us to use algorithms to automate the assortment at every location. It allows us to give enterprises a really flexible way on how and if they want to subsidize food. So for instance, one of our clients, Tesla, subsidizes their food by 30% between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. to support the graveyard shift. We've built an efficient, predictable fulfillment system. And we lean on third parties to do the food, the warehousing, and the logistics. And this model is scalable. We can now enter new geographic markets in a very asset light and capital efficient manner. And these partners already have a national footprint that we can step into. And I'm really proud to say that in under three years, we have over 500 fridges in market with several hundred clients. We work with folks like Kaiser and Sutter Health, with Cisco and Gilead. We even have fridges that are serving the prison guards at San Quentin Prison and Folsom Prison. And for the first time, they have 24 seven access to high quality fresh food. And we've been growing like a weed. Uh, we did 2.3 million in revenue in 2016, we nearly tripled our sales last year, hitting 6.4 million in revenue, and we're already exceeding plan and expect to hit 10 million in sales this year. We have a very strong business and technical team behind us. Um, three out of four of us are prior founders in the food and tech space. And we're just getting started. So later this year, we'll actually be launching a few efforts that will allow us to continue to maximize same store sales. A consumer app will allow us to layer in things like loyalty programs and contactless payment, pre-ordering. And of course, we're getting much more intelligent about how we're using the data and the fact that we know how long that salad sat on that shelf. And we can layer that into dynamic programmatic pricing. And then last, but certainly not least, is computer vision. Computer vision will allow us to extend the current capabilities to longer shelf life products like snacks and drinks and have an appended pantry next to every smart fridge and market. So today officially kicks off our Series A. We're raising a $7 million round, primarily to invest in the technology, but also to open two new geographies. But my ask to all of you, you all work in a workplace. And if you're tired of the food there, come look to Bite, because we'd love to be working with you. Thank you. So, um, I, you know, my reaction was, oh, yeah, I've seen 
one of these, and then I realized now it was yours that I saw. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> so at a WeWork. Right? Yes. Yeah. So so wait. So how many so how many geographies do you have at this point? So we have we sort of the San Francisco Bay Area and Sacramento. Um, we also have about 100 fridges in market where we license the technology to food service providers or brands. You had, so you had 500 fridges in right that are your fridges. So what what do yeah. you sell? That's where I want to go. What are the what's the business? How much is refrigerators? How much of it is sure. the food? How much of it is what's what's the breakdown of the business model? So when when we go into a location and we provide a completely turnkey service. Um, we, the location pays a subscription of just $500 a month for this turnkey service. We place a fridge, and then their employees buy food. And we take margin on that food today as well. And so the gross margins on that business are today 33%. We are also starting to develop a business that licenses this technology into the hands of folks like Sodexo or Aramark large food service providers that want to be able to extend 24-7 access on hospitals, universities, corporate campuses as well. So and are you That acts more like, more like a, a, a software business where you've got 70% gross margins. Are you manufacturing these fridges right now? So we have. So we just went through a major rebuild of the fridge that brought the landed cost way down. Um, it basically cut it in half from what it was. Uh, but our next order will be coming from our overseas manufacturer. Who services the fridges? I mean, who does all the maintenance and the delivery and you know, keeping things fresh? So the, those are our partners. Um, we have a, a cold storage partner who not only provides the warehousing space, they also provide the labor to uh, basically take all that inventory on hand and pick pack it into this product goes to this fridge. And then we have a, a fulfillment provider doing the deliveries, uh, which is Ryder. It's a company with a national footprint and with capabilities to do our deliveries beyond the markets that we're currently in. So you're raising a $7 million Series A round. How much have you raised so far before that? So we raised a, a $5.5 million seed in October of 2016. And who, uh, did you say who makes the food? Who does, who's your partner for the I heard everything else. Who's? So three, three types. Okay. Food manufacturers. Okay. Um, we'll work with distributors like UNFI to do like a GT kombucha or Justin's peanut butter cups. And then we'll also work directly with brands. But okay. Bite and does not produce any of that food. So now are you talking with Cookitoo, Cookie Two about, <laughs> I just think. We don't need kitchen be, space. You know, <laughs> that could be, OK. Um, how much of the business do you think will be like licensing the technology versus going direct to an employer? Um, it's a fantastic question. Uh, over the next two years, we expect to, we envision tens of thousands of fridges in the market um, with different brands using the Byte platform, because ultimately we are the platform for fresh. Over the next two years, we will expedite that go-to-market by going direct, but you know, two and three years out, we, we fully expect the licensing business to start eclipsing that side. Uh, sorry, last question. Do you bear inventory risk, or who is responsible for the food and the spoilage and, and so on? Sometimes. So uh, in 75% of the instances, we bear the risk of spoilage. Um, but that's a big piece of the benefit of our platform is that we have the data to really proactively manage that and not have it be a meaningful piece of, of the business. And does it have to be healthy food? Can it be fresh, bad food? <laughs> Well, we do have molasses cookies, but they're all clean ingredients. So that is our promise. Is but the serious question is what diversity and yeah. how does that get selected? And I assume that's a partnership relation. I mean, that's a relationship with the, with the company that puts the refrigerator in, in terms it, of how they want it to It is. I would say 99% of clients want it to be completely hands off. We hit breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and drinks. And so within that small fridge, you really hit all day parts of eating. And I assume you're adjusting over time, et cetera, et cetera. Exactly. Right? That's where the data comes into and play. Customizing per site. Exactly. Okay. Thank you, Megan. Thank you. Thank you.